Look at here. You got to start pulling your weight around here. All you're doing is loafing around. Welcome back to Ketorific Journey with Mike. I'm Mike, Reformed Fat Man. I found these at Kroger. It's a company called uh, Base Culture, and they claim this to be a keto bread. Let's find out. All right, one slice is, uh, there's 14 servings in here, and one slice is, a slice is a serving. Now, it's a little high in calories for one slice. It's 110 calories. Uh, let's see, there's eight total carbs per slice. Uh, six grams of fat. There's four grams of dietary fiber, so four net carbs. If you're doing four, if you're doing net carbs, it's not bad. If you're doing total carbs, eh, you might have a problem. Um, it's going to be up to you. Uh, let's see, cholesterol, 25 grams, 180 milligrams of sodium. That's not too high in sodium. All right. Um, ingredients are egg, water eggs, almond butter, golden flaxseed meal, arrowroot flour, psyllium husk powder, almond flour, apple cider vinegar, sea salt, baking soda, uh, and all of these, well, except for the water, all of these are non-GMO uh, GMO ingredients. So they don't do GMO at all. And how to, you know, how are you going to modify water genetically? Um, so water is the only one that doesn't have a little symbol saying that they've, it's non-GMO. So, but like I said, how are you going to do that anyway? So, uh, they do give a warning for any kind of allergies because it's made in a plant that processes, um, cashews, pecans and coconut, it does contain egg and almond, so they give you the uh, allergic warning, uh, allergenic warning. They tell you if you're allergic to it, watch out. So that, that I gotta tell you, that's pretty clean. That is clean, there's no flour, no wheat fiber or anything like that in there. The, the fiber's coming from the psyllium husk, the carbs are coming from Almond flour, or arrowroot flour, the almond butter, the psyllium husk, uh, the flax meal. That's where your carbs are coming from. And like I said, it's eight eight of them. So, you know, it, it, that's about as clean as you're going to get for a store-bought a store bread. Bre I'd be really, really tough if I could just talk. Okay. A store-bought. Good Lord. A store-bought bread. That is pretty good for one. So, let's see what it looks like. That was an unopened, and it's it's in the freezer section at Kroger. I, I've heard that... Uh, the fancy store, the one that's on Whole Paycheck, Whole, Whole Foods, that they've got it, that they carry it also. And uh, Publix, I've heard that they have it. But I haven't seen it. I've only seen it in Kroger because I don't shop those other two stores on a regular basis. So Kroger or any of the Kroger affiliates, you should find it in the freezer section in the frozen bread. Now, it's kind of funny shaped. It's, it's kind of thin. And it's got a little divot right here, like a heart, kind of. So it's a little funny shape. But, you know, I mean, it's I, I, I don't care if you tell jokes for a living. If you taste good, I'm fine. So be funny all you want. So I've got a piece that's just plain here. I'm going to try it out. See what it tastes like. Yeah, that's pretty nondescript. That's about, that's about boring. Doesn't taste bad. Just doesn't taste. Okay. So now I got a piece that I toasted with butter, by the way. That improves it greatly. <laughs> that's that's bad, much better. Uh, 
That is much better. So now, let's put some jelly on one that's toasted and see what that feels like, or tastes like, I should say. Mm-hmm. I can live with that. I mean, if you're really just looking for some kind of way to transmit the jelly or a, a vehicle for it, that's not bad. Toasted. Toasted. Plain. Wouldn't call it bad. I would just say ain't much to it. Some folks might call it bad. I don't. Now let's just try a little bit of cream cheese in it. Oh, in it. On it. And see what that tastes like with cream cheese. Mmm. That's even better than the jelly. This piece was toasted also. Okay, this has got hopes. I mean, when was the last time you ate just plain bread out of a loaf out of a loaf of bread? Usually you're gonna do something with it, make a sandwich, put some mayo on it, mustard, meat, cheese, whatever, toast it. You're gonna do something with it. I'm gonna eat the rest of this one that I've it's plain and see what it tastes like with the cream cheese on it plain. Yeah, I definitely toast it. I highly recommend toasting it. Not that it's bad. It's not bad without being toasted, but it ain't great. Still ain't great toasted, but it's a whole world of difference. All right, one last thing to check. Gonna make a grilled sandwich with it. We'll see what that tastes like. Probably do a pastrami with Swiss cheese and mustard or something like that. And toast it and see what that tastes like. That'll be the final test. All right, or maybe a ha oh, ham and Swiss. That's what I'm going to do. Ham and Swiss. Yes, indeed. Ham and Swiss sandwich. Toasted. Grilled ham and Swiss. I'll do that. And I'll bring you back and I'll let you see what the results of that was. So I promised you a sandwich with the bread. Here it is. Mmm. That can roll up nicely. Okay. All right, so it's, I did a grilled cheese, grilled ham and Swiss cheese sandwich. I toasted the bread with uh, mayo. I use mayo on it. It just gives more flavor. And this, this is great. You know, it tastes really good. Uh, this is passable, for sure. Well, beyond passable, I mean, it's really good. So, you know, this bread, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, the culture bread, uh, base culture, it's pretty good. I'd buy it again. I'd buy it again, and you, you saw what I thought of the other ways of doing it. So, Thanks for joining me. Until the next time, this is Mike at Keto Riffy Journey saying, let's be careful out there.